Hi everybody, Mike Griffin here, and I just wanted to do a short video on a new pushrod control system that Eric Rule at RSM Distribution is offering. Um, we have in the past had insertable um, titanium type ends that go inside the tube and you secure them with either epoxy or JB Well. Um, this is kind of a, a concept that I like a whole lot better. Uh, as you all know that when you cut the carbon fiber rods, oftentimes you'll get splintering. And when you use the type that inserted inside of the tube, uh, you normally had to take Kevlar thread and wrap it and epoxy it to keep it from splintering and flaking off. Well, this type of system I like much better because it actually captures the rod from the outside. As you can see, I'm going to try to hold it up to the camera. I hope it doesn't get too much out of focus. It's like a cup, and an integral part of it is the 440 threads on the outside. So the way this would work is that you would take uh, JB Well, epoxy or whatever, coat your rod with it, and I always put some on the inside of the, the cup, and you simply slip it over the, the rod. And uh, then you have your... Um, you, and you put your JB Weld or epoxy in there and let it dry. And you have one for each end, of course. Uh, I don't know if this is showing on camera, but I'll try to move it back and lay it down. So you have one here and one there. Now you have a short piece that will run from your bell crank to uh, your flap horn if you're using a flat model, if you're building a flat model, and then another rod that would run from your flap horn to your elevators. The nice thing about these is that they are available in right and left hand threads so that when you adjust them by turning the rod, you're adjusting the elevator and the flap at the same time. Um, I want to take one of these off and show you the ball link that comes with this, which I think is incredibly neat. Uh, it doesn't look anything like the Dubro 440 ball links that you're used to. This is actually a white nylon end that's threaded for a 440 thread. And inside of here, you have a brass piece that swivels, and it will not come out. You have a stationary nut up at this end and a removable nut here. So actually what happens is that you take that post, you set it through the bell crank, fasten a nut on the bottom side, and then you have a complete swivel like you would by using like a Dubro 440 or something like that. So uh, I like this system very much. I'm fixing to use it on my new Shark Profile kit that I've come out with, and also the Tercel, which I'm doing a test build on for Eric. But just want to let you know, these are available. Um, I don't know the cost on them yet. Uh, knowing Eric, they'll be very reasonable. Uh, you can call him and he can give you prices on them. I will also have these available for sale. So, and by the way, these are not titanium. They are stainless steel. Titanium, uh, I think, is kind of an overkill for what you have to pay for it. So, instead of using titanium, he went with stainless steel, which will work just fine. Uh, again, right and left hand threads. So when you glue them and measure and cut to the right length and you glue them to your control rod and you turn your control rod, you can adjust the elevator as well as the flap at the same time by having right and left hand threads on there. So hopefully this came out. Uh, got any questions, give me a call. Give Eric a call at RSM. Thank you.